What's going on guys? Brandon Kyusef here with Kyusef Trading. In this video, we're going to go over this awesome new script that was just released on TradingView. A link to this script will be in the description. And what this script does is calculates volume delta, open interest delta, and just a standard volume profile as precisely as possible given the tools available on TradingView. Currently on my screen, the script is calculating volume delta at precise tick levels for the asset on my chart. Now we can see at all these price levels, buy and sell volume is divided and therefore the volume delta calculated in addition to the summed total or the total volume delta for the bar that formed. We can see located right our tick levels and the values at these tick levels represent the summed total volume delta at each tick level. So we can see that the most volume delta, which happened to be negative in this case, is negative 17.5 thousand volume delta happening at approximately the 1201 price level for ETH USDT. Now with this volume delta script is also a heat map. So this heat map tells us where a lot of negative volume delta is occurring and where a lot of positive volume delta is occurring. Now, of course, there's tons of customization features here for users. For instance, we can remove the neon effect of our labels, which really just make it look cool. They don't have any utility. And we can see by removing the neon effect, we have a more easily perceptible volume delta calculations on each bar, including the summed values with our heat map. And for further customization with display for the indicator, we can also implement a classic look feature. I didn't know what else to call it, unfortunately. But with the classic look feature, volume delta, volume profile, and open interest delta in a more traditional fashion that you would see on other charting platforms that provide this data. So if I go ahead and zoom in here, we instead have price blocks or price boxes. POC levels are distinguished as an alternative color, and we still have our summed totals for each bar for volume delta, etc. Now let's go ahead and look at open interest delta, which is a bit hard to find on TradingView, but it is in this indicator, thankfully. And for open interest delta to work, only Binance provides intracession open interest data for TradingView. Now with traditional futures, not cryptocurrencies, Open interest data is available, however, it's only on the daily time frame. So really, we can only calculate open interest delta data for cryptocurrencies on the Binance exchange. So let's go ahead and go to ETH USDT PERP, which is Ethereum Perpetual Futures. We'll go to our data box here and select OI Delta. And now what's really cool is we're going to retrieve that open interest intracession data that Binance provides and run calculations on open interest delta. So this is pretty cool. This is difficult to find on TradingView, unfortunately. And of course, if we do not use the classic look feature here, and this takes a while to update on a real-time bar, it's grabbing a lot of data, we will still get our summed open interest delta values at precise tick levels with a highlighted POC area etc. We can also see a heat map is available for open interest delta as well. All colors are configurable. I'm using green, red, right? Those are traditionally used for green up, red down, but I can use, for instance, blue and purple here, which will create a really cool neon effect, even though, again, this doesn't provide any utility. I guess it just looks cool uh, to me, at least. <laughs> And boom, awesome. So now we have open interest delta data displayed for each 30 minute bar. This script works on any time frame from two minutes to one day. And lastly, another cool feature of this script is we can opt to use only a heat map. So I'm gonna go ahead and select heat map only here. All the values for the bars will be removed. We'll still keep our summed values and we're going to have a very large heat map which shows discrepancies at price levels in open interest delta. So let's go ahead and increase our percentage distance between lines here. This way we do not get jumbled up values, even though this does work. It might be better for calculating the heat map. And boom, sweet. Now we have our heat map for open interest delta. I can go ahead and select data here, volume. This will calculate a traditional volume profile. 
and we'll see that our heat map is also going to change in the background, corresponding to high volume areas in low volume areas. And we can see our, our summed estimated bullish volume and bearish volume. That's going to be it for this video, guys. Thanks for checking out this video. It was important to get this indicator on TradingView. Now, there's tons of volume profile indicators on TradingView. There's some volume delta and open interest delta indicators available on TradingView, but they're difficult to find. So it was important to have this indicator up. If you have any suggestions on how to improve this volume delta indicator, open interest delta indicator, please let me know. I've been incorporating requests from users on the TradingView platform into this indicator. It would be very nice if this indicator was a sufficient substitute for volume delta, open interest delta indicators on other charting platforms. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.